morning. First question of the video in this area. Uh, our politicians are leaving. Ah. <laughs> the, the airport is full with politicians. Now so. They are going on leave. Yes. What is happening? Are they not our leader that's supposed to be here and stand for the citizens? Um, Nigeria. Nto. You that are collecting, you that are collecting for five naira to vote. Nto. Now, you are voting because of five thousand naira in this place. Tomato, Gary, Amala, Ewedu, rice, spaghetti. They have given you a voting because of that. Now, while is coming, they are running. You can eat to run. So, Nigeria, once again, we deserve our leaders. When you vote for somebody that, that, that wants the progress of Nigeria, you will know. But, but we are voting because of sentiment, because of type and religion. And they have now seen it that for the first time, Nigerians are speaking to one voice. I spoke yesterday, I said, if you don't want this process to hold in Nigeria, go and arrest three people. Are they human beings? Don't ask me. But three people should be arrested. Number one is hunger. Number two, poverty. Number three, inflation. If you arrest these three people, there will be no protest. But because you are unable to arrest them, and not three people, they are getting taller and bigger, there will only be protest. So Nigeria, they are running because they have that means to run. But you are voting for them, because of this, either tribalism, either religion, or for psychophancy, for for mineral, for for indomie, for all those nonsense, so I voted for them. They have left you in Nigeria, or you have faced the consequence. I was telling somebody, I said, ask yourself, your politicians, where are their own children? Ask yourself. You keep on saying that education is going down, education is useless, uh, school now scam, school no be scam, they are children are born. <laughs> School don't be scam. Now your own school here don't be scam. Because you, you, the curriculum of 1980s, you are using it in 2024. But the old children are using the updated curriculum in a normal country. They are for their children. Some of them are, they are either, how do I put it, this, um, they are either uh, somebody with dual citizens, Nigeria, with UK, with US, and all those stuff. You are saying that your, edu your, your, your education is bad, that your, your, your medical facilities. Your hospitals are very bad. You ask yourself again, are they using the same hospital like you? No. They fly abroad. But election will come to change them. You will be voting based on tribalism and religion. Oh yeah? And I tell you that they are friends. Look at those people now. As of, as, as of web now, they say they are going on three weeks recess. Oh yeah? Seven weeks. Oh, seven, oh, seven, bye bye. Oh, seven days. Because they two months recess. Now, people that, people, that, people that will go to that recess, they are Yorubas there, Fulani, Aousa, Igbo, Kalaba, all those tribes. They are Muslims that are at different tribes. Because the are good. all the parties are going. But a poor man here is still fighting. I, 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 I told that man yesterday. You, you are saying that Tinubu is good, but you are buying food on credit. Kosovo Ah, Tinubu is doing well, but you are buying food on credit. Kosovo is You understand the problem? So you look at that, that's what they call Stockholm Syndrome. When you are in love, with your chain. You understand? I gave an example. I said, a prisoner was in a prison. They inside the prison, they threw him a key. A key to open the prison. And that was not threw him a bread. That prisoner chose the bread to eat and stay in that prison. That's how Nigerians are. You have been saying this thing. Leave tribalism. Leave religion. And leave this big thing. They say no. Okay, now, that what they said. I gave an example. I said, that what they said, though. I paid $100 million for my land in Lagos State. You that are kind of on their head, hey, you are pushing people from Lagos. How much they give you inside? This should be the worst word. This should be what should guide your steps as a person. This should be what should be your motivation as a human being. Ah, this leader. Hey, you are not fighting for me. You have, I, saw, I saw, let me say it. Outside. Yesterday, I saw an injustice again. I was speaking, only me can say it. Everybody will be afraid to say it. Yesterday, Bola Metinu will add the presence of the of, of national rulers in Nigeria. Then we saw a closed door meeting. He had the meeting with two national rulers. The all knew of Ife. That's the first class king in Yoruba land. The second one is the Sultan of Sokoto, who is the head of Muslims in Nigeria, Alayi Saad Abaka. And I'm asking this question again. No matter how you are angry, I'll keep on asking the question. Nigeria is standing on the tripod. It's like a can of 
ordinarily in normal country. There are three tires, three legs. Now, on your if a Yoruba man, and I said, Abaka, sometimes I go to a full animal. I'm asking, I'll ask an Igbo man, don't you have a king? He said, they have a king. Then why is there not a king from Igbo land in that place? I'm asking, I'm, I'll keep, you are angry, that's a problem. Because you want a country to go forward. You want a national peace, a national cohesion, a national unity. And we know that it's a fact that you are standing on a tripod, on a three leg. And you have only two kings from two regions. Here is the other king. The question is, every woman should answer me here. Don't you have a king? Somebody said, oh, we have a king. There's Obi of Unitao. Now, why is it he not there? Or the other kings who in different zones? That is that marginalization. That's one of the reasons why Nigeria is not working. It's not a cause. <laughs> or guess, it's, it's not by praying. No, no, no. It's by doing the right thing. You understand? Until there's that peace, that justice. That you don't see what I'm I keep saying this in openly every day. There's no shame. That equity and that fairness. Nigeria cannot go forward. Where is the ego of Nigeria? Where is the ego of Nigeria? Or where is, or if not him, where are the or first class national king in the Golan in that meeting. Is Nigeria only a Fula Republic or a Yoruba Republic? That's the question. But you know, it does start today. I've been saying the same thing over how many years. It has been wrong, but we can correct this wrong. Because I'm not saying oh, it's Tinubu's fault. No, 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 I don't blame Tinubu. It has been for how many years? But we can correct it. That since there's a Yoruba king, there's a Fulani king or a king, and Igbo king should be there. Three leg, ordinarily. What are you talking about? But people cannot, even an ego man is afraid to say it. I said, look at you. You must say these things. Nobody is paying you anything. Nobody can say, oh, I'm giving you out there. You can't even say it. No, nobody, no, as I'm talking now, nobody can say, any, any, politi any political party can say, eh, I have never in my life put on a shirt of any political party before. Not even a wristband. I don't do it. I don't want. But so, when, you, when you are talking, you can stand and talk. I said, no. This is the right thing because you know in your mind that you're not a sacrifice. I like go back to the word of Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and life. A million no. It's coming out now. It's coming out now during protest. And I'm asking the question. If the protest is, for example, postponed to September, are you going to postpone all to September? You can't be playing like that. Yesterday again, we saw government some week. They said protest not like Abuja. Why? He's saying that um, for example in Abuja, there is going to be it's going to be national ambulance day. He said, no problem. If they if they postpone the process of another day, I go to see, you cannot be playing with your tradition and values. I give you an example. I said we saw the burial of the Queen of England. We saw the values, traditional the tradition, the culture of, of the British in full, even though they are a Christian nation. They didn't forget their, their, their values. They didn't forget their culture, so, but it is here in Nigeria for political and selfish gain. You are mocking who you are. You have mocked, I say it every day, you have mocked Christianity. You have mocked Islam. That's 
you are not even mocking your own because we see how we pass our religion in Nigeria. We know what you know. There are churches everywhere, there are mosques everywhere. But in Nigeria, there's corruption everywhere, there's indiscipline everywhere, there's immorality everywhere, there's infidelity everywhere. So that means the, the religion has not translated to, 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 to the well being of lives of the people. Like I always say, Jesus, the um, uh, Bible says, righteousness exhausts a nation, not religion. Am I right? So, what I'm saying in essence is this, it's very simple, we can look at this from this angle. We must speak out as a group. That's why I like the Bible and I'm speaking out. Stop mocking our culture. Because it's going to have a ripple effect. Because of politics. Politics will go. A time will come, you are going to leave power. No matter how you do it, in the next 20 years, you cannot, you cannot be in power. Oh, yeah. But now you have not mocked your culture. You have mocked your religion. You have mocked who you are. Your tradition. Then, then what is left? But I give up. I said, ordinarily, a Fulani S man does not have the power to, to, to kidnap a Yoruba king or ba, to my job by the motor. Mr. Wakin, to my job by a Fulani S man does not have power to kidnap a real Yoruba king. Tifa, eh, no, 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 forget about it. But who is making them king and the politician? You see somebody yesterday. Maybe he was a former police officer in, in, at, at the back of a governor. The next thing he became a king. Who made him a king? Then you don't see that one go to party, start eating anyhow. Start putting something on different things on the neck. Start dressing. The more he said that Fulani S-Men have attacked. Who would they, how would, how would the Fulani S-Men attack a rich Yoruba kids that the gods of Yoruba land have chosen? I'm talking as you are, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. But because you have insulted your culture, you have mocked your culture, you have matched you down on your culture, then you are going to see this, this, how do I put it? Huh? What is it? What is taboo happening? This, 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 this evil happened in the Southwest, in Yobala, and in Nigeria in general. What I'm saying in essence is this. Nigeria has the right to protest. I'm wrapping up. I'm going home. I have the right to protest, but government arrest these three people. I've mentioned their name before. Hunger, poverty, and inflation. If you arrest them, there is no need for any protest in Nigeria. Thank you so much.